Hello Zany friends, welcome back to our channel. I am Lainey. I am Marshall. Today we are going to talk about our summer ween wrap up, which we participated in the month of August. Mm -hmm. It was run by Gabby Reeds and Olivia Reeds a latte. And we did, uh, why you know what her name is? I know what her name is. It's, stuff doesn't stop being funny just because you know it. <laughs> We did a recent video where we talked about what we were planning on reading, um, and I will link that down below. But what we ended up reading was a little bit different than what we were planning on reading. Kind of. Originally, we were planning on reading the same books, and that also didn't quite happen either. No. Uh, but let's start with the prompts. Supernatural or paranormal theme. Right. And for that, we did, well, we were going to both do My Best Friend's Exorcism. This one is very much in the same vein as a Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. It, it has a lot of the same themes, but this is the older book, apparently. Yes, it is. And I think it'd be really fun to just kind of take a look at the difference between the two of them, see how he's grown as a writer. Our be My Best Friend's Exorcism takes place in the 80s during the time of the Satanic Panic in Georgia. And the main character's best friend comes to be possessed by a demon. Uh, although they don't really figure that out until much later in the book, but it's not a spoiler because <laughs> it's on the cover. The rest of the story is about how the demon-possessed person is trying to ruin everybody's lives and how the main character is trying to get them to be better and solve the problem. I had ended up giving this one a four star. Um, I didn't like it as much as Southern Book Club's Guide just because I feel like it referenced the 80s, but it didn't really feel like it was just an 80s story. It, it was more like a poke poke, hey, it's the 80s. But what I did really like about it was how it was mixed media, how you saw so many different objects out of Oh, interesting. Yeah, okay, so. okay. I did not get around to doing this. However, one of the books that I read for another prompt does fall under this one, and I will talk about that when we get to it as well. What is prompt number two? Prompt number two is a book with a creepy cover. Okay, we actually read the same book for this one. We read The Return by Rachel Harrison. Yeah. Do you want to tell them a little bit about what this book is about? So The Return is this woman goes missing for two years and then suddenly pops up again with no memory of what she had done and where she was. This focuses on her best friend who, uh, along with a few other friends, all get together with her at a hotel and it's obvious that something is not very right with the woman who went missing. As far as what I felt about it, how did you feel about it? <laughs> that's how you felt about it? That's how I yeah, felt about it? Yeah, that's kind of how I <laughs> felt about it, because I'm just like, um... Mm, I yeah. was kind of the same way. I think there was a lot of hype leading up to this book that I had been hearing from other people, and so I was expecting it to be... I, I don't know, like, more, I guess, different. And so once I finished the book, I was like... I don't understand. Yeah. I don't, I don't really, I mean, I understand what happened in the book, but I just don't, I don't like it. <laughs> it wasn't that it was horribly written. It was just that the way that it wound up was just weird. And there were some plot points that I felt did not get explained throughout the book. So yeah. I ended up giving it three stars. Me too. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. yeah. So mm -hmm. yes. How did you feel about it? That's how I felt about yeah. it. Yeah. Our third prompt is a book you read in the dark. Now, again, this one falls under another prompt, so I will tell mine when I get to it. Uh, for mine, I actually reread some old comic books that I remembered from my youth, but it's been a while. It's called Parasite, or uh, in the original Japanese, Kiseju, uh, which is parasitic beasts. I had fond memories of it, but in reading it in modern day, I, it, I'm not sure if it really holds up. Um, right. The artwork is very, very rough, and the story just kind of keeps on going over itself over and over and over again. I also gave that a three star. Mm. Yeah. So the fourth prompt is read a book about a haunted house. So this was the book that kind of fell under the supernatural paranormal, as well as the book that I read in the dark. I didn't read all of it in the dark. It's kind of a long book. I couldn't really read it in the dark because I had to start it earlier in the day. So I ended up reading it in dark rooms, not necessarily in the dark. And that book is called Kill Creek. It is by Scott Thomas. And it is the book of some authors who go to a haunted house to have an interview with uh, a guy who runs a website. He's kind of a shock 
jock and i'm gonna say that like he yeah. doesn't he's not on the radio or anything but like he kind of wants to do things for shock value so he thought you know there's this big like ambiance of having these horror writers inside this haunted house this haunted house has a past it's very storied and it has a paranormal element to it or maybe it doesn't so they are spending the night in the house to find out what happens and then the story goes from there. Uh, Marshall is currently reading, he's in the middle of it, so I can't give away too much about what is happening, yeah. but I loved this book so much. I gave it a 4.5. The reasons are very inconsequential and nothing I'm actually going to bring up, um, especially because it would spoil it for him. So 4.5 is what I give it and I totally recommend this book. I think you guys need to read this, like especially with the fall, if you like scary books, you will like this Book. I'm really intrigued. I love the characters uh, so far and they're like where I'm at the characters are just getting to the haunted house mm -hmm. which is a long ways into the book actually. Right. Yeah. Um, but it is it I find it interesting and I want to see where they all go with it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. I'm not, you, you're gonna see my review next month. And the fifth book is books recommended by the hosts, either Gabby or Olivia. Um, and this is where things took kind of a weird turn for us. Uh, so both of us were going to read The Troop. I started reading it and I got about maybe a third of the way into the book and I was like, I, I can't read this book anymore. It creeps me out and at the time I was kind of sick. And I didn't really feel like reading a, a book that creeped me out while I was sick. So I passed it over to Marshall and I started another book. The, the, I didn't quite make it to, to the end of The Troop by the time Summerween was over, unfortunately. Um, the Troop is best summarized as Lord of the Flies meets Alien. Mm -hmm. In that the this Eagle Scout troop has gone to an island and this contagion gets there and it... It doesn't just kill you, it kills you really bad. And I I had a difficult time reading this book, not because it was poorly written. It was excellently written, yes. except for the last page. But <laughs> the the rest, the, the, the whole thing of the, I just kept on going ugh, ugh, the whole time I was reading. Um, so if that's your kind of book, go for it. Mm. I'm not for that kind of book though. <laughs> Uh, the book that I ended up reading was called The One by John Mars and uh, I had already purchased this book like a couple months ago and then just hadn't had a chance to read it yet so I'm glad it kind of fell under this prompt. It is the story of a society that has figured out how to genetically DNA match you to the one person you're supposed to be with. It's very chemically based and that's why they say that sometimes there's not always one match for you. Sometimes they don't find anybody because of the fact that that your person may not have taken the test in order to be matched with you. So this follows five people who are, uh, have received notifications of their genetically matched person. Th different reasons why they do it. Uh, you know, some of them are like kind of persuaded to do it by their significant other to see if maybe they are the match for each other. Uh, one of them is a serial killer. And uh, the, nothing in this book turns out the way you think it's going to. It is all twists, all turns, and at the end of every single chapter, you're like, what? Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> the entire book. And I, it was very intriguing. And I give this book 4.5. I thought it was so good. I, I mean, I, did, I didn't see it coming. It was just so good. And because I had already read What Lies Between Us uh, by the same author earlier, and I didn't really like it as much, I didn't have high hopes for this book. So I think that's why I like it so much, because... <laughs> I feel it like it's a lot better. You. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so that's all the books we read for Summerween. A comment down below if you participated and what you actually read. Uh, but stay tuned because we'll be doing some other prompts later on in uh, like October. So until next time. Stay zany. Bye.